So how old are you? Twenty. Twenty? Mm hmm You're pretty young. Yeah. So you want to do porno, huh? Yeah. So what made you decide to get into porno? I don't know. I just love sex, and I figured, you know, why not get paid for it while I do it? Really? Yeah. Were you having lots of sex before oh. the business? Oh, yeah, definitely. And someone's like, if you're going to be such a whore and whoring around, you might as well make some money while you do it. Really? Yeah. How many guys have you been with before porno? Oh, about 3,000. No, I don't know. 10. But I've been with a lot of girls, though. How many girls have you been with? Oh, I can't even count. Almost 100, I'm sure. Really? Yeah. How old were you when you first started having sex? Oh, man, I was underage. I know you're underage. <laughs> How old were you when you first started having sex? 12 with guys. With girls, I was 9. 12? Why so young? I don't know. I just wanted it. Who was the lucky bastard? A Jehovah Witness that lived across the street. He was 20. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's fucking crazy. The words are something that I didn't expect to affect me in my everyday life. So when I go out, I feel as if I'm wearing slut across my forehead. The names that people have called me, it's as if if you could take out those names and print them and put a ribbon around my whole body of all the names and things that people say to me on the internet, that's how I feel when I walk outside the door. I came from the adult industry, but then I transitioned into the mainstream industry, but I encountered a lot of issues with uh, my transition and people not accepting me into the mainstream world. So I have really gotten to the point where there are days to weeks at a time where I don't leave my house because I don't feel like facing the world of what has been created out there for me. I get so disappointed when I go out and I meet a new friend and then it turns out they don't want to be my friend anymore or I go out and you know I don't know I just hear things and or 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 witness things it's really it's really easier for me just to stay inside my house and not put myself out there for hurt that I gave up between 30 and 60 thousand dollars a month and I could go back to porn today and still make that. I could go back to porn and make $20,000 just in one week to, if I wanted to this week. And I don't because that's how much I don't want my photos on the internet. Simple question, like how would you like to be treated? Oh my gosh, I've never thought about that. God, I never even, that is so sad. I would, um, I wish that people would treat me how they would treat a married registered nurse with 2.5 kids in Indiana. That's how I wish people would treat me. How would that change your how would that change your life if they treated you that way? I would be so happy. I don't know. I never even thought about that before. <laughs> but it'll never happen. That's probably why I don't think about it. I learned that there are some things that no matter how open-minded you are, other people will never be and that you shouldn't do. And I send a very strong message to young girls, don't do porn because as much I understand it, you want to embrace your sexuality, you want to say screw the man, screw whatever, like I can do what I want with my body, but you're just going to have a life of crap in front of you and dealing with people and companies and you know there's 
companies are allowed to turn you down for work because of anything they want and you, you know they have morality clauses you can <laughs> oh guys listen i'm not the one to glorify or praise anybody's hardships the things they've been through life the pain the misery the discomfort that they've suffered but here's the thing i've been through things in life i've made decisions that i wish i wouldn't have made i wish i could have chose this path and not this path but guess what as a man i accept the consequences good or bad i accept the accountability and i move on and i make the necessary changes i adapt women have a hard time doing that woman's kryptonite is accountability they always have to be the victim that's why she's on that clip crying and said oh you know oh, i wish i wouldn't have done this i wish people would just accept me well nobody has to accept you nobody has to like me nobody has to accept me for who i am everybody is allowed to make decisions in their life that benefits them good or bad so she doesn't want to accept the fact that people just won't like that you are in the adult film industry Men just don't want to really accept the fact or, or take you serious because you've been ran through by this guy for the world to see. It's on the internet. You, you've you busted open for this guy, these guys, and you've been in this different film and that different film. That's the life that you chose. Yeah, you made a lot of money in the short term, but long term, that's not fulfilling. And women don't understand this. They think that I can become a single mother. I can be 40, 50, 60 pounds, 100 pounds overweight. I can do this, I can do that. And nobody will judge me. I still deserve this type of guy. Matter of fact, that's what's going on with most modern women today. They got all these crazy different things going on and they think they deserve a top tier guy, an attractive guy. I've even seen women say, you know, yeah, I'm obese, I'm overweight, but I want a guy who's in shape. Now you think that guy who's in shape wants to be with you? No. And this is why so many women are miserable because they cannot accept accountability. They can't look in the mirror and say, I shouldn't have done that. Or before they take that action, that step, they should say, you know what? How is this going to affect me 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road? How is this going to affect my children? How is my family, close friends and other colleagues, how are people going to see me? How is this going to affect job opportunities in the future? They don't think like that. All they pretty much think about is, oh, money, quick money. This is fun. Live it up, girl. You can do what you want. Explore your sexuality, just like she said. But guess what? That has consequences because men, we ultimately control who we marry, who we get in a relationship with and who we settle down with and take serious. Men don't have to take you serious. So yeah, women have all the power when it comes to sex, but that's for the short term. That doesn't really do anything for most women. That's just for the most part a means to an end. So when men control who we marry and who we give that ring to, that hurts women. Right. She even said, I wish that I was a married wife that was a, a registered nurse that lived in Indiana. She would trade that basically for anything. See, women, guys, they're hurting because they want that stability. They want that guy who's going to love them, who's going to give them that that comfort, that who's going to lead and guide them, who's going to give them that family. And we control that. That's why it says we have all the power. At the end of the day, men get the last <laughs> laugh. And guess what? That's on women. Because you chose the path that you chose. Nobody has to accept you and love you and appreciate you for, for who you are. Yes, that's who you are. Nobody has to. Nobody has to like me. Nobody has to like you. Everybody has decisions that they can make in life. And unfortunately, she made that horrible decision. She made that decision that's going to impact her for the rest of her life. Matter of fact, if she has kids, it's going to affect them. Kids are going to go to school and say, hey, that's your mom on the internet? Hey, and you know kids are ruthless in school. I mean, they're savages. They're worse than adults. So they go around, hey, hey that's, his mo that's his mom. Look at, the, hey, that, that's that's her mom. Look at that. And, and the kid's going to be sitting in class. And they're going to be like, yeah, that's my mom. She did this, and uh, but I still love her. That's sad, man. It's un unfortunate and it's concerning because there's so many women who are getting into the OnlyFans industry, who are twerking, who are doing all types of things online, showing their body, doing this and that. And then down the road, when they hit 28, 29, 30, 35, 40, they want a guy to take them serious. They want a guy to cherish them, to look past all their flaws, 
to look past all the things that they've done in life and say, yeah, I'm going to marry you. It's okay. No, because men make sound logical decisions too, just like a corporation. And that's what you are. That's what I am as a man. We look at the individual, the candidate, and we say, should I hire this woman? Should I take this woman seriously? Should I get in a relationship with her? Should I do this with her? And if we see your reputation out there and you're doing this online, you're doing that, you you posting this and you t talk about men ain't this, men ain't that. Men say, okay, you know what? I know how I'm going to treat her. I'm going to either smash and dash, I'm going to pump and dump, use her for recreational use, or I'm just going to steer clear from her. But I'm not going to take her serious. She ain't getting the ring. She's not getting my commitment. She's not getting any dates. I don't want to be seen in public with this woman, right? I don't want to hold her hand because people are going to look at her. They look at me and say, you know, oh, you chose that. And women hate that. They hate being socially isolated from everybody. They want to be accepted. They want to be loved. They want to be cherished, especially by men. This is why when you reject them or you just ghost them and they end up coming back, that's because they just want to know, does this guy still like me? Does he still want to be with me? It's all validation. That's what women seek. So for all you women out there who are choosing these crazy things to do online and, po and twerk and, and, and live a hot girl summer and talk about men ain't this, men ain't that and all, men, can, men have the right to turn you down. We don't have to be with you. We don't have to take you serious. We can pump and dump you. We don't mind doing that. If you want to become a single mother, great. But that sort of accountability, you're going to have to accept. You're going to have to just say, you know, I'm a single mother and most men are not going to want to take on that burden, that load. He doesn't want to be in that situation that I'm in of, of uh, having another man's kids and, and everything. And women don't like hearing that because they want men to just accept them for who they are. They're goddesses. They're beautiful. Don't judge her. But women don't mind judging us. See, remember this quote, guys. Men want a woman who has a good past. Women want a guy who has a great future. So women want a guy who is able to provide, who's going to be able to build and, and give her security for the future and give her a good life. Men want a woman who hasn't slept around, who doesn't have a checkered past, who didn't get ran through by this guy on the other side of town, who, who hasn't done this, who hasn't done that. It's just how it is. So women out there, if, if you're mad because men have a choice, and men don't want to be with a woman who's been promiscuous and sleeping around. Well, heck, that's on you. But we ultimately have say so on who we give our resources, time and energy to. And women don't want to just accept that accountability. You see, she's crying because she just can't accept. I shouldn't have done this. I, I wish, you know, uh, that I, I can make a change. She started off by saying that. But towards the end, she's like, you know, I, I wish people would just accept, you know, uh, just me for the things I've done. It's, it's not a bad thing, basically. Just, 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 just stomach it. It's just what I did. No, we don't have to do that. So live with your consequences, your actions, and accept the ramifications of the things that you do in life. Whatever you put into the world, that's what you're going to get back.